Hello, anyway, 17 furlongs juvenile hurdle will kick off the jump side of things then. Two miles and one furlongs, four yards only. Quintrell Downs at the top, Darren Thompson, Master of Arms, Leon Van Rinsburg, Frisker Escape and Liz Du for Martin Leedham, Holland and Randy Moss for Matt Cooper. Trump card, Graham Clutterbuck, Esme Note and Imaginary Symbol, Alex Cherry, Reward for Glory, David Hooley, Sophistication Water, Derek Hinton, Monster Unleashed for Leon Van Rinsburg and Good Time Girl for Graham Clutterbuck. So... 13 of them then called in and away. And heading towards the first of the uniquely French flights of hurdles as they get over it. They're all safely over it. And Ismi Note has gone into a clear lead from Lizdu and Holland, who have both been driven up into a share of second as they get over the second of 14 flights. A lot of jumping to be done. These juvenile hurdles normally only take eight or sometimes even seven flights of hurdles in a two mile race, but they've got. 14 to get over today and they've already taken the first three of them and Holland has now gone into the lead so Holland is then from Esme Note on the outside second Liz Du is in third then a gap back to the imaginary symbol who's in fourth Fresco Estate on the inside is next with Good Time Girl Master of Arms after that one and towards the back the only grey in the field is Reward for Glory and that one is just about last at this point and they swing in Left-handed now then, and there's almost a line of three of them sharing the lead now. Esme Note in the orange sleeves, Holland in the red jacket, and Liz in the maroon as they get over the fifth flight. Then Fresca Estate is back in fourth, with the imaginary symbol in fifth, and then a little gap to Trump Card and Monster Unleashed, with Good Time Girl next to that one. Esme Note is just about winning the battle to lead at this point, and skips over flight number six, which they all get over nicely. Holland on the inside of Esme Note coming up to share their lead again. Then Liz Du is third. Fresca Estate is about two lengths back in fourth. That's an almighty looking big hurdle as they get over that one. And they pass the big screen and the winning post. They've got one more complete circuit of Compagnia to go. Compagnia, the place where Joan of Arc was captured on, reliably informed. But it's Esme Note who's in the lead then by two lengths to Holland in second. And Liz Du in third. Bit of a gap then back to Fresca Estate. And then Imaginary Symbol and Trump Card. Quintron Dan's getting the first mention as well. After that one, Monster Unleashed is trying to get into it. Looking towards the back, Sophistication. Water is the new back marker. But it's Esme Note who's gone on by a couple of lengths in there. Inside the final seven furlongs, and that's flight number eight. Which they all skip over nicely, hurtling well, these four-year-olds. And Esme Note leads by two to Holland in second. Liz Du and Fresca Estate are getting closer. Then comes... After that one, Quintrell Downs and Monster Unleashed also making a forward-looking move. Then this is flight 10 already, and over it they go. Esme Note in the lead, just four more flights to take, and five furlongs to race. Esme Note in the lead from Liz Du and Fresca Estate. Then Monster Unleashed, Holland is trying to get back into it again as they get over the fourth last. Good jump there by Liz Du, sees it jump into the lead. Challenged by Stable Companion, Fresca Estate on the outside. Quintrell Downs looks to be going best of all. The grey on the outside, reward for glory, also sweeps into it. It's wide open, this one with three to go. And it's reward for glory. The grey has come from absolutely nowhere to take it up. As they swing into the straight then. It's reward for glory in the lead from Quintrill Downs in second. Then it's me note Fresca Estate. Holland is after that one. Then Liz Du and Master Arms over the third. Last they go. And reward for glory has gone for home. Three lengths clear of Monster Unleashed who's moved into second. Then Quintrill Downs. Good time girls after that one. Master of Arms. Fresca Estate trying to stick on. They're coming down towards the second last flight then there. And reward for glory by two. But Monster Unleashed on the outside. Jumps it well and gets closer. Then comes Quintrill Downs. Fresca Estate. Good time girls. Master of Arms trying to get into it as well. They're down towards the final flight now, and it's Monster Unleashed who takes it in front. Better jump though by Quintrell Downs. Also, reward for glory coming on the outside. Quintrell Downs hits the front. Quintrell Downs takes it from Good Time Girl. Monster Unleashed, and then um, all for glory after that one. Fresca Estate next, and all the way back to Sophistication Walks. A very short run in from the final flight. And Darren Thompson strikes again. Quintrell Downs always oh, going well, that one. And takes it comfortably from good time girl second uh, quintrell downs the winner for darren thompson good time girl graham clutterbuck second monster unleashed leon van rinsburg third reward for glory david hooley was fourth and master of arms for leon van rinsburg was fifth